So today we are going to be working with the exponent power rules, but this time the terms are going to have coefficients. All right. So for example, 5x squared times 3x to the fourth power. The 5 in front of the x squared is a coefficient because x squared is being multiplied by 5. And similarly, over here, x to the fourth power, 3 is the coefficient because it's being multiplied by x to the fourth power. So really, what this really means here is that 5 times x squared is being multiplied by 3 times x to the fourth. That's really what that means. But we usually don't put the dot there. We just put the 5 next to the x squared to show that they're being multiplied. But the other thing to remember is when you have a coefficient there, the 5 is not being squared, right? The, only the x is being squared in this original problem here, OK? Now, if I want to simplify this, what's tricky is when I multiply this out, I'm going to multiply the powers using the power rules. But multiplying the coefficients is just like multiplying normal numbers, all right? So for example, if I'm multiplying this out, I can do the 5 times 3 just like multiplying basic numbers. 5 times 3 is 15. So my new coefficient is going to be 15. But when I multiply x squared times x to the fourth, I have to use the power rules to multiply those out. And the power rule for multiplying powers with the same base is you keep the base and you add the exponents. 2 plus 4 is 6. So 5x squared times 3x to the fourth equals 15x to the sixth. All right? So it's not particularly difficult, but the tricky thing is you have to remember you have to treat the coefficients just like normal math and just multiply it like normal, but you have to treat the powers differently using the power rules. All right? I'll give you another example. 6x to the fourth all raised to the third power. So again, in this case, 6 is my coefficient. So I'm taking 6 and multiplying it by x to the fourth. So 6 is not being raised to the fourth power, just the x is. Okay? But then that whole thing is being raised to the third power. All right. So to simplify this, since this whole thing is being raised to the third power, what that means is I have to raise the 6 to the third power, and I also have to raise x to the fourth to the third power. All right, so I'm just raising everything in here to the third power. Now, I know 6 to the third power is 216, because 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. So we're just doing basic math with that one. But when I raise x to the fourth to the third power, I have to use the power rules. And the power rules say, when I'm raising a power to a power, I keep the base and I multiply the exponents. 4 times 3 is 12, so it's x to the 12th. There is my answer, 216x to the 12th. All right, we'll do one last one. This one's division. We've got 8x to the 5th divided by 2x to the 3rd. Again, here's your coefficient times x to the 5th, and down below, here's your coefficient for the x to the third. OK? So we're going to be dividing this time. Now, just like before, when we divide, we can divide the normal numbers just using normal math. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So my new coefficient is going to be 4. But when I divide the powers, I have to use the power rules. And the rule for dividing in powers is we keep the base the same and we subtract the exponents. 5 minus 3 is 2. So my final answer there, 4x to the second power. OK? So as you can see, these aren't particularly difficult, but they are tricky because you have to work with different rules, not just the power rules, but also just basic arithmetic rules. All right, so work carefully through these. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math and I will see you next time.